Welcome to the Tending Our Nets podcast, where we believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We encourage everyone to learn more, and we work to equip believers to share their faith with everyone they know. All right, welcome to the Tending Our Nets podcast. My name is Joshua Sherman, and I am your host here. We're focused on the gospel of Jesus Christ in this podcast, and particularly talking about what it means that humanity is made in the image of God. We've been looking at what the image is, uh, who bears the image, some of the ethical implications, the moral implications, the implications for our mission as believers in Jesus. Uh, And today I want to talk about kind of the personal implications of what it means to bear God's image. And what I want to do is just uh, look at this passage that we have, uh, where you have some of the religious leaders trying to trap Jesus, uh, and they essentially just come and ask him whether they should be paying the imperial tax to Caesar or not. A lot of times we get kind of caught up in the context of this trap and, you know, oh, it's the historical context of this, and what are they doing, and, 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 and those kinds of questions, and I think we can miss one of the, the central points of this text. Um, but um, just to kind of you know outline this, they're trying to trap him because um, they're basically trying to get him out of favor with one group or another, right? Because the people don't like paying taxes to Caesar. Uh, and if Jesus says you need to pay taxes to Caesar, that could be a way of driving a wedge between Christ and the people that he is ministering to. You also have a way of potentially driving a wedge between Christ and Rome. Uh, Because if he says, don't pay taxes to Caesar, he is now openly advocating for rebellion against Rome. Uh, And that's not a good thing in Rome's eyes. Uh, So they're kind of figuring that one way or the other, they're going to start being able to to get him out of favor uh, with an important demographic. And Jesus, knowing their evil intent, says, you hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying taxes. They brought him a denarius, and he asked them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed, so they left him and went away. I mean, first of all, that's just a cool answer, right? (laughs) He just kind of goes right around the whole problem that they're trying to kind of pose there. Um, and, you know, puts things in their proper place uh, because, you know, the people might not want to pay taxes to Caesar, but they recognize, oh, you know, you're, you're also talking about this uh, need that we have to obey God. Uh, and, you know, Rome, if they had anybody that was there listening, would be like, oh, well, he said to pay taxes to Caesar, right? So on, on one level, you can kind of just look at this and be like, wow, that's a brilliant answer. Um, but I, I think what we see here uh, is actually very instructive for us and in, in just kind of asking us that core question. Jesus says, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and unto God what is God's. And he's referring to a coin that bears the image and inscription or name of Caesar when he does this. The corollary there, if we take that parallel and kind of fill in the blanks, is saying, who bears the image of God? Who bears his name? Oh, that's right. Like, A, that's something that all people, all of humanity, should feel the obligation to do because we bear his image. It's also something that especially those who have become covenant people, those who have have, uh, put their faith in Christ and declare that publicly, um, should be doing, especially because we have chosen to bear his name. We're going to talk about that in an upcoming episode pretty soon here. Um, so, uh, we'll talk about what that means in more detail. Uh, but essentially, I mean, you really look at this and you just have that question of like, wow, so if I bear God's image and his name, I'm supposed to give back to God what is God's. That is a call to surrender. That is a call to give of ourselves. That's not an easy call, but that is the call of the gospel to take up our cross and to follow Christ right? To suffer with him so that we may be glorified with him. Um, these are all important things that we have to learn and, and really, you know, kind of understand that um, when the gospel is about a new king 
and his victory, allegiance and obedience are what you need to do. That's what you're, the response that you're called to. And so each of us has to really kind of wrestle with and kind of understand and act on this call to surrender ourselves because we bear the image and the name of God. If we have, A, been created as a human person, we bear his image, and B, if we have declared our faith in Christ and so taken on his name. Uh, so again, uh, another kind of you know heavy episode just in implications, but um, I, I think it really helps us to kind of just set some some boundaries and try to understand well um, who we are and what we were made to do, and and all of that, and that ties in to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in, uh, and uh, please uh, like, subscribe, rate, review. All of these things help us to spread the word, so that we can help people to learn to share the gospel effectively with everyone they know. God bless. You've been listening to the Tending Our Nets podcast. If you like what you hear, check us out at the Raven Creek Social Club and by searching for us on social media via Tending Our Nets. Raise